this year, develop intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Intimacy with the Holy Ghost. I'm not just talking about being a church goer. No. I'm talking about you having a good fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible said the Holy Ghost is number one, is a helper. He can help you. And he cannot just help you, he will bring helpers to you. The Holy Ghost is my best partner, my best friend. Because listen to me, no matter how you talk about the Holy Ghost, you are still pointing to Jesus. Because this Bible said that like, those people will not talk about themselves, we'll talk about Jesus. It's pointing to Jesus. It's like looking at yourself in a reflection in the mirror. What do you see? You see yourself. Isn't it? It's the same thing with the Holy Ghost. The more you advertise the Holy Ghost, the more you see Jesus. So the Holy Spirit is like the glass. You don't see. But what you see in that glass is Jesus. So develop intimacy. Now before we go for that, what is the intimacy? How do I develop intimacy with the Holy Spirit? Number one, in fasting and prayers. In fasting what? And prayers. This year, take time. Fasting is about to start now. Don't go and do hunger strike. Then they won't fast by tomorrow. I say, I know, I know, I know if you fast, so I know if you fast, so wow, but listen to me, you know, go easy. You. Am I communicating now? I'm not prophesying doom. I'm telling you, similar fact. You don't just wake up and say, I want to be a friend of the Ghost. No, so fasting and, and prayers. Number two, also studying of the word of God, God's word, study, constant study. Number three, also worshiping, learning to worship. Give God worship, quality worship in your secret place, not only in the church. Learn to worship God, be a worshiper. And then number four, righteous living. If there's something that grieves the Holy Spirit, it's when you go into sin. Grieve not the Holy Spirit in which you were sealed for the day of redemption. How do I grieve the Holy Spirit? By continuing sin. Can we remain in sin and grace abide? No! This year, make up your mind. I will live a righteous. I will run from fornication. I will run from adultery. I will run from things that don't please God. Listen to me. You cannot say I'm praying and fasting. And what happened? I am also, I was also worshiping God. I'm studying. And what happened? And then you are living in sin. And something is telling you you are getting closer to the Holy Spirit. Listen to me now. I mean, can you can't listen to me? If somebody told you that, he just called you a big fool. He knows that you don't have sense. That's why he just decided to deceive you. But I will not deceive you. I will tell the truth. It doesn't work that way. So you need what happens. You need this to have intimacy. Now, when you have intimacy, going number one, the Holy Spirit is your helper. It helps you in things you need to do. It helps you to bring helpers. Am I communicating now? You need helpers, people that will help you. He will bring them. On that thing again is that the Holy Spirit is an empowerer. It empowers you. Listen to me, when you, sometimes you don't know that the, work, the marketplace is dangerous. When I mean the marketplace, I'm not talking about in terms of uh, going to a good market. Or, I'm talking about a marketplace of life where they do transaction. You do transaction. You know marketplace. Why? Wow, yes, you, 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 you might be in your store. It's a marketplace. You understand me now? You are walking in a place. It's a marketplace. So I'm talking about general the marketplace. Hello? Now, you have all kinds of persons. Sometimes your certificate does not matter. You can be so un you have masters in this, masters in that, and when you come to reality, you will discover that there are some certain persons that you say, ah, how come what happened that they are prospering and you are not prospering? But you, you, you know this thing more than them. They don't even know this thing self. How did they are prospering? There is something behind it. You remember say, he come back. There are some certain people on the marketplace, they go and prepare better charm. They were telling one man, they say, What's what happened? The master, I want to give my life to Christ. Okay, no problem. He gave life to Christ. He say, Okay, he said, What is your charm? You can't pack out your charm. He said, He was laughing. He said, If I bring my charm, it will be like trailer load. He said, What? So, where's the big? Get us the most powerful charm. So, he went for and brought a snake. Snake water. There's this water and there's a snake inside. And they asked him, what are you doing with this thing? He said, listen, but anytime I want to go for bidding, for contract or nothing, I will drink from it. When I drink from it, as I go there, as I tell the man, listen to me, this contract is my own. He gives chance. And that if there be anybody again, he says, doing this, what I, just, I just shake him and say, God bless you. As I shake him like this, what I, I release stroke. 
Not, I'm not saying that we have a church. <laughs> are, are you feeling about really strong? So, at the end of the world, listen, that man now will be struggling to take off his head. Now you want to follow me, compete again. We are two customers. We are into selling or smelt. Now you are, you are, you are a smelt seller. We are a distributor. I'm a smelt distributor. I need to succeed. Now that you don't know that, listen to me, that the person that you are following is not normal. He goes in, by the time you go out, he goes in and dig the ground and bury something. And one day as we are coming now, you just march. Ah, ah, what did they do? What did they do? What happened? Before you know, you don't the house. For what happened? For six months, you are at home. One year, you are at home. Now, business, you know that business, if you are not always around, there will be a problem. The business will be going down. That man is blossoming. So, you need power. Someone say power. Say power. Say power. Now, the power comes with the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 and you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So in your marketplace there must always be attack. You need backup. Someone say backup, backup, backup. So if you don't carry power this, you, you end up becoming a casualty. Because they can, they can eliminate you anyhow. I'm, I'm not going to eliminate you. They can close down your store. You say ah. How did you do the same business? How did they go this place now? You are one to say, okay, they say, they say man, print flyer. So you don't print flyer, you share to people. Listen to me. Nothing is happening. Your business said they go down. That person said they go, why? You think you and that person are doing the same thing that they do? You have to say, how they doing? Is it now God do? Now God do? Now lie! You don't go somewhere to do it. He come back. He come back. Am, am I talking to someone here today? So don't be so naive this year. And just think that you are a normal computer with everybody. No. You are not in a normal competition. That place ahead of you, if they do something behind, you say no, say no, they do something. So you two know how to do something. The Holy Ghost you have, hold him high and let him empower you. And when you get it, when they shake you, it is back to sender. Hey! Hey! Am, 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 am I communicating now? They poison your seat for walk. You go walk. They poison your seat. What happens? You go there. You sit down. You just put on this. And you sit down. Nothing they happen. They look at you. They look at you. By the time once, twice, three, four, they say this guy not be human being. It's not normal. You know when they look at when when they, they were waiting for Paul to die. You remember the story? The viper beat him. They say this guy. Before before he escaped this storm came and the storm destroyed everything about the ship now they escaped again now he came to this matter and then the same I said that you they should put on fire they put on fire the snake did not attack anybody he just beat this guy and this guy holds and cast on the fire so they were waiting they said this guy he's really a criminal and then when they look look they thought this guy will fall down and die they came to conclusion they said no this guy is a God. <laughs> I pray for you today. In the marketplace, men will change their mind concerning you. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear a loud amen to that. I went, I went to Rema. Even in ministry, you don't know what, what I went to Rema. And I went to, when, I, when I went to Rema, well, they were waiting for me. The guy, the man that took over the property, they were telling me how many people have died. How many people have died. You told me how many people have died. I said, listen, listen to me. This property, I'm seizing it. I will buy this one. I will seize the other one. I will seize that one and use it for, bike, for car park, for church. I like trouble. Ask my mom and I will tell you now. I see people where he, where he planted charm. He took charm and checked me. He shaked me. He said, Pastor, how is everything? I said, Fine, I hold your hand. I look out. God bless you. He said, Pastor, after he comes, he said, Pastor, you deceive me. I said, Who? Who they deceive each other? He looked at me and said, Pastor. If not be ah pastor, you wicked do. I said, me are you wicked? The whole neighborhood was waiting for me to fall down and die. Person that told me said he said if you see this uncompleted everything here today, he said listen to me as you ask. The man is dead. He and the lawyer died the same day, and he took over the property. He said so I won't fall and fight. I will see. I said okay no problem. Let's wait. He did all everything. The people waited for me to fall down and down. And when they saw that nothing was happening, they became members of the church. Not him, but the neighborhood. 
they started attending the church. Am I talking to someone today? That's how people will wait, wait, wait. And they wait. When they wait, they say nothing's happening. They come to conclusion that you are not a normal person. That you are a carrier of the Holy Ghost. Anyone that is a carrier of the Holy Ghost and have intimate fellowship, you cannot be put down anyhow. I pray for you today. Starting from now, you remain untouchable. You are living here with power. I said power of the Holy Ghost. Can I hear a loud amen to that? Can, can I hear an amen that can bring testimony? If somebody is not careful because of you, they, they will pack up their business. Some will even fall down and die because of you. No, if you say better, it will come to pass. Some will have stroke because of you. Some will have high blood pressure because of you. If you say better, amen, it's coming to pass. <laughs> 